This is pleasant to see that my bot is currently developing. What? Why is it hogging my RAM? Oh god. Why is this glitching out? Driver. Whoop. Drove. Hey guys, the Tech Otaku here and welcome to the part 3 of setting up my new server. So on the front, I have my old Asus laptop here. So this is the Asus A55 VGA laptop with the Intel Core i5 processor. I definitely miss this thing for a while right now. It's been a year since my sister borrowed my laptop here. It has a Core i5 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 750 gig hard drive, and it has Windows 8.1 Pro. I have Windows 10 Home Single Language digital license in here, so I don't have to worry about reinstalling Windows or something like that, but hey. In this part, I'm gonna install drivers on my HP netbook, or oh, should I say HP? That's how I pronounce HP like J from Video Sense Frontier. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is to download drivers from Intel and Broadcom. Intel GMA3150 driver. Whoop, drove. No driver. And there is Windows 7 64 bit driver. That's what I need. Next target will be. Broadcom wireless driver. Broadcom BCM94313 HMGB. Damn it. Oh wait, Lenovo support has that driver. Alright, hold on, I gotta grab my... Oh wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Thing centered H91Z? like oh yeah that's an all-in-one PC <laughs> silly me all right let's go and download it and transfer it right away to get the internet working <laughs> I got these stuff copied onto my SD card I mean micro SD card seriously so I'm gonna rename the win 764.exe to GMA 3150x64 driver. No, leave that for now. So, I'm gonna disconnect that. Come on, Jack. This is all ready to go. Now, let's move on to the HP netbook. <laughs> now I'm back and let's go in and log me in. We have test manager already starting up in the background, so that's interesting. I already done that before. I'm gonna open folder to view files and come on drivers GMA 3150x64 driver. Oh wait. Come on. No. That was a problem activating your malwarebytes anti-ransomware be beta. God dang it. Why is this glitching out? Okay. <laughs> I think it's just the something. <laughs> Intel GMA driver. X, I agree. Windows 7 X64. Yup, Windows 7 2008 R2 is based on Windows 7, like really. Next. So scrolling might be a problem on this AVF mouse. It's a piece of shit. I don't want to buy AVF stuff again, especially the mouses. And uh, yeah. Alright, it's done. Yep, I want to restart this computer. So let's go and do that. Yes. Meanwhile, and get inbound. Yeah, I'm just bending some kind of back plate here. <laughs> back plate for the PCI slots on my Pentafor rigs because <laughs> I need that blanking slot for my Pentafor computer here. Just wondering. There we go. So, I'm gonna try to get the wireless card drive installed. Whoop. Yup, we're in business. And still, we have no network driver, so let's go on to this PC and go on to Windows Server 2008 R2 setup. 
Again. Drivers. Come on. And I'm gonna open up the Brockham driver. It says Lenovo information product. So, huh. Let's try. BCM 43227. Yep. Set the agreement. No, not right now. I'll finish. SW2s, drivers, Wireland. Oh, uh, that's a long directory. Driver, Windows 7. Yeah, 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 yeah. Windows 7. All I'm gonna do is to copy this. This PC. You know, the properties. Device manager. And then click on network controller, update driver software, browse my computer for driver software, control V, and I'm checking include subfolders. And, yeah. and hopefully it's going to work! Cross my fingers! Yep, we're in service. Mirai Asahina bot post is now in service. Look, what am I supposed to chat like right now? Let me go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi and I'll be right back. Why? What? You've got to be kidding me. Take two and everything seems to be fine. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Right now, I'm installing Google Chrome. So last time, I was trying to install Google Chrome on Windows 7 Pro. 32 bit and it says no update available. So I was like, what? You gotta be kidding me. Here's how I will react if Google Chrome refills to install on Windows 7 Pro 32 bit. Wait, what? Does it say for 64 bit Windows? We'll see about that. Chrome. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you heard that right. So I'm gonna let this install. There we go, Google Chrome is now installed. What? Why is it hogging my RAM? I'm gonna go to Discord app. Oh god. Turns out the postman in front of my house interrupted me <laughs> and he sent me the letter for uh, presumably my sister. Yes. But anyway, let's go ahead and go on to Google and search for the score development. Why is HTTPS is crossed out? I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty clueless about that. What the heck, Google Chrome? There we go. Here's my bot. Yay. Why can't I scroll? Ah. Oh wow, I'm pissed with my mouse so much. This AVF mouse is totaled. Yup, they're all ready to use. Here we go. Now we're talking. App description, RPG origins, and something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to run this code bot, so I'm gonna Google something here. Meanwhile, this is pleasant to see that my bot is currently developing. Yeah. Alright, so um, here's the next day, and my own Discord bot has been created, and, and she's running 24-7. As you can see, the cable management for the charger, it's not so great, at least. I can see wires tangling here, and it's plugged straight into that power strip. I think I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this thing off and open it up. There we go, I'm gonna type my password. Alright. It's running, and my Discord bot is running really wonderfully. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you the proof right now. I do see it. <laughs> oh, that's my idea. So, yeah. Yeah, my 
Discord bot hosting server is up and running. What what was that black box here? Let's check the system properties first. In case you forgot, it's running Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Service Pack One. It has an Atom N455 processor clock at 1.66 gigahertz. It has a Giga RAM and a 64-bit operating system. And um yeah, so yeah, I have a couple of programs here. Malwarebytes anti malware. That's why I have before on Windows 7 Professional temporary install. Malwarebytes anti ransomware. That's a great program to protect you from some kind of ransomware. Teamviewer, Google Chrome, Rufus. Qubit Torrent, Notepad++, Hillmoon, Specky, and of course, I have my bot running here, so I forgot to put CMD on the desktop, so I'll do that later. I have Note.js as well, which is interesting. I have Java as well, just in case. I think that's pretty much it for setting up my new server. I'll see you guys in the part 4 where I set up some drives or something like that. And uh, yeah, peace. Have a good run, but...